I've got a fun summer project to share with you today. Great to do with all those little ones in your life. You can create this cute little bug bucket. You can make it look like a ladybug or switch it out to black and yellow wings. And you can make a little bumblebee. It's a great way to collect some fun outdoor critters, look at them up close, and then set them free again. So I wanna show you how to make this cute container. To start this project out, we're gonna take the lid off of our container and trace around it with a pencil on the red paper and the black paper. Once you've got it traced, you're going to turn the lid to the side and you are going to cut a strip of paper that is the width of the side of the lid and then you will cut out all of those pieces. Next, we're gonna take the red circle we just cut out and cut it in half. These are going to be the wings of the ladybug. Next, we are going to adhere all the black pieces to the lid. You'll see me using a glue runner, but after seeing how it turned out, I would recommend using score tape. It's just a little bit stronger and makes that rounded, thin piece of black stick to the lid a little bit better. Then we're gonna grab those ladybug wings, the half circles, and our quarter inch hole punch, and we are going to punch holes in each wing so that the black polka dots shine through. Then you'll take the ladybug wings, place them on the black lid, leave a little black space in the center so it looks like the wings are open a little bit. Put your adhesive on the back of the wings and stick it down to the top of the lid. Next, we're gonna grab our two pipe cleaners and create the antenna for the ladybug. So take your two pipe cleaners, have them overlap about an inch and a half, twist them together to make one longer piece, and then where those two pipe cleaners met, we are going to put that at the back of the ladybug, wrap it around the lid where the lid and the container meet, and then wrap it around to the front, Twist it once or twice to secure it in place, and then make sure those antennas go up. Then we're going to grab a pencil, and we are going to turn those antennas curly. So you're going to wrap the pipe cleaner around the pencil a couple of times on each side, and then curve it the way you want it for the antennas. Our ladybug still needs eyes, so grab two of the wiggly eyes that are adhesive backed already and stick those to the front of the bucket. Next, we're gonna take our green piece of paper and cut two strips that are about an inch and a quarter by 12 inches long. So we'll cut those out, and then you get to cut all the way along and make little fringes the entire way. Once you've got all the little fringes cut, then you can go and bend the grass back and forth to give it a little bit of texture and dimension before we adhere it now it's time to adhere your grass to the bucket. You'll see I'm using a glue runner in the video, but I recommend actually using a quarter inch score tape. It sticks a lot better in the long run. So take your score tape, put it on the grass, remove the backing, and then stick it to the bucket. The first strip I adhered from the back towards the front, and then the second strip I adhered a little bit lower and went from the front to the back so you don't see any seams in the front of the bucket. The last step in creating the bucket is writing the label of the person's bug bucket on black paper using a white chalk pen or paint pen. Cut it out and adhere it to the bucket. Now that our bucket is assembled, you can go out, find some bugs, and take a good look at them up close. And if you plan on keeping the bugs in there for a long time, make sure to give it some air holes. You can find all the supplies to make this project at craftsdirect.com and go over to the projects tab.